and a quick take on what life was like and what people did before Google. Ever since I was a little kid, my family used to like go hunt down old books and old bookstores. Thrift stores, recently in the last couple of years, because Marie Kondo has become more popular, are a great resource to figure out what life was like before we all used our iPhones and Google to look up things on the internet. Books like this, Dictionary of Cultural Literacy, What Every American Needs to Know, is filled with basically just information. It's Google, before Google. The difference between reference books like this one and Google is that if, when you Google something, you already have to know what you're searching for. So you already have to sort of have an idea about what you're looking for. So then Google only spits to you the specific information that you input. So it's not a brain, right? Like Google is a search engine that searches the entire internet. It doesn't really know what you're thinking. But when you look at a book like this, you may look in for it, into it for something spe like specific, but then learn something else right next to it that is even more interesting that sticks in your brain more that you like better which is why it might be a good idea you don't have to get one so sort of blatantly obvious of like cultural uh, cultural literacy i mean that's up to interpretation and it's personal taste at the end of the day but having a few reference books around could be helpful in learning other information that you are not looking for um and it could you know it's fun to learn stuff so more information, small, compact, what life was like before Google, reference books. It's a key for all writers and it's a key for all homeschoolers and people out there stuck at home wanting to learn stuff and getting sick and tired of looking at our phones. There you go, guys. If you like this video, click subscribe below.